OSPF has two versions. OSPF version 2 and OSPF version 3. Version 2 is IP version 4. Version 3 configuration is IP version 6. So IP version 6 configuration, we will see it on our next tomorrow's class. So IP version 4, we will see in details today. Okay? Now OSPF, you take, there are two type of OSPF again. You take single area OSPF and multiple area OSPF. Now single area is nothing but you have an area where you connect some routers. Okay? While you are configuring, you are just saying mentioning a single area. For example, area 1. Okay? This can be a single area SPF. Or it can be area 0. This can be a single area SPF. In a multiple area SPF, You are connected with multiple areas where your area 0 is a compulsory in your multiple area OSPF. Okay? So we call this area 0 as backbone area. So where you have your routers connected here called backbone area area 0 all the other areas all the other areas for example area 1 is connected to area 0 ok so this assume this is area 2 in a multiple area of SPF Area 0 is a must area and we call it a backbone area and the other areas must connect to area 0. There will be few routers, it can be one, it can be more than one also for the same network. We call them area border router. In a short form we call ABR. Now, in ABR, what will happen? Part of their ports, I mean one or maybe two, whatever the number of ports, at least minimum one port will be connected to area 0, maybe the other ports might be connected to area 1. So, they are the, they were the people going to come in, transfer the information in between the areas. So, they call area border router. So, this guy also will be an ABR. Got it? Okay. Now you have another area where you connected with an ABR, but the thing is, he is area 3, he is not connected to area 0 directly. So he can't participate in area 0 if he is not connected to area 0. So what we do? We create a virtual link between these two areas. That means from area 3's ABRs and area 0. To do that, mostly we use one active loopback. Okay? So we'll see what is loopback logical interface. We use one logical interface now. Got it? So what is a logical interface? A logical interface is nothing but you just say interface loop back zero. That means physically that interface is not available in your router, but logically it will be there in your router. So you can go to the R config interface mode, you can configure the IP address 1.1.1.1 subnet pass 255000 you can configure the subnet pass clear so so mostly this virtual link is created in between the logical interfaces because they say the logical interfaces are stable okay 
there was an exam question in uh, OSPM. Yeah? Yeah, there was a two four statement. They say OSPF process ID locally significant. Yes, it's locally significant process ID. And also they said that logical interface give the stability of the router. Yes, give the stability. What is stability? Stability of why physical interface there are chances to get disconnect, maybe cable loose. But logical interface, no cable loose, it will be always remain connected. Got it? So therefore, they are used for this virtual link, logical interfaces. Got it? Okay. There can be some more people will be there. For example, there is a router which connected to few more routers where you are using another protocol. You are using a different protocol. Okay. Uh, this router we call ASBR. So part of each one will be connected to OSPF, the other part connected to PIC. Also, in each and every area, each and every area, there will be someone called BR and a BDR. Who is DR? DR is a designated router. BDR is a backup designated router. Now so what is the role of them? Okay? But what they will do? Now in OSPF we learn to send and receive updates. They use 224.0.0.5 and 224.0.0.6. These two IP address, multicast IP address, they use to send and receive updates in OSPF. In RIP, we learn 224.0.0.9. In EIJB, we learn 224.0.0.10. In OSPF, it's two IP addresses, two multicast addresses, 005 and 006. Now, why this 005 and 006? If you take a scenario like this, as if this is a switch, there are routers connected. Okay, so this one is uh, 10.1.1.1, this one 10.1.1.3, 10.1.1.4, and 10.1.1.5. Now what happened in this scenario, okay, each and every person will send the update to DR. Now who is the DR? The DR, there will be an election for the DR. What will be the election? In that election, they will choose who has the highest router ID. Who has the highest router ID? He will be the DR. To get the highest router ID, now what is the router ID? In a router, in a router, highest active port will be a router ID. For example, this one is uh, 30.0.0.1, this one is 20.1.1.1, 10.1.1.1. In this case, if assume that all three ports are active, if all three ports are active, this 30 will be your router ID. That means to router identification ID, router ID. But if you have a logical port in that particular router, as you loop back zero, as you configure something like this, you configure one logical port, loop back zero. If you have a loop back zero here, it can be one dot one dot one dot one even. But if you have a loop back, that loop back will be your router ID. So now the router ID will be this one. Even though he has the highest router ID, even though he will be he is active also, highest router ID will be loopback. If you have more than one loopbacks, logical one, if you have more than one loopback, what will happen? The highest loopback will be your router ID. Highest active port, or if you have a logical port, or if you have the highest logical port. So they will, by that you will get, get the router ID. 
So after this election, each and every router is going to have their router ID. So these are the router IDs. Okay. In this case, what happened? Who is the highest router ID here? He is the router ID here. Because he has 100. If his router ID has routed, what happened? All these people, all the others, if they have any changes, if they have any changes in themselves, what happened? They will send those informations to whom? To the router ID and to the backup DR. Sorry, to the designated router, sorry. Who has the highest router ID? He will be the designated router. So they will send to the designated router. They will send to the backup designated router as well. Who is the backup designated router? The second highest. He has 100, he has 50. Got it? So, to, they, they, are, they are sending to two people. They are sending two people. It's not a unicast. It's a multicast. So, while they are sending the information, they use 224.0.0.0.5. Okay? So, that DR will get the update. As well as BDR also will get the update. Get it? Then, DR after he got the update, he will flood the updated information to the others. If any changes happen here, he will update to DR and to the BDR. One copy to DR, one copy to BDR. If DR fails, DR fails, what happened? BDR will become the DR, designated router. And again, there will be another election for whom? For BDR. If DR got updated, what happened? Uh, again, he will be the DR. Okay, that chances are there. So there are so many commands are there. Okay, clear IP OSP process, and you can do those things. Re elected elections and get down. <coughs> Sorry. Clear, guys? So what is DR? What is BDR? So what is router ID? How to elect a router ID? What's the function of the DR? What's the function of BDR? And why we need 224.005 and 006? Got it? So, update DR and BDR records, update DR and BDR records, we call O records. O records mean all area records. All area records. We call them with this all area record LSA type 1 and LSA type 2. The running state acknowledgement types are there, LSA type 1 and LSA type 2. Now, this DR, once he, once he updated, he will also update the information to whom? To the area border router. If DR updated, he will update the information to area border router. So, area border router will send the message to the other area. So, if you receive any information from the other area, those records you will be able to see as OIA. Okay? We call this LSA type 3 and 4. Any questions to ask so far? Any issues? Single area, multiple area, backbone router. I mean backbone area, ABR, ASBR, okay, O record, OIA record, DR, BDR, router ID, router ID elections, loop back, how to create loopbacks. Okay, second so item.